All right, everybody, that was Montana by the lovely Sarah Banks, such a powerful voice. Thank you for coming again. Thank you for having me. It's a delight. I, uh, I try not to stalk her too much on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's creepy. It I'm is. just kidding. <laughs> anyway, the TV show is on uh, Facebook. We got a Twitter account, and uh, we're online at MidwestMusicMeltdown.tv. Obviously, you're on the Facebook and the MySpace. I am, yeah. Have you embarked on the Twitter? No. 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 That's I, a little too far for me, I think. You know, it, it's a little too far for me as well. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to go the extra length. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talk about your CDs. Um, you have just the two, correct? Yeah, I have just two out right now, um, at least with the with the with the my previous band, The Robbers. So we had you know a release in 2005, which was called Suicide Double Wide, and then a release that we put out in 07 that was called Neighbor's Garden. Um, so hopefully, you know, uh, we're, we're we're about due for a new album. So hopefully, with the the, the new group of, of folks, we can put something out in the next year or so that well, would be I'm my goal to, you know i'm trying to prod her as much as possible everybody mm-hmm. uh talk about the experiences with that where'd you record um we recorded with at baseline studios with tim sitch and also um recorded with scott gata at his house um yeah pleasant um, experiences brad hoshaw yeah scott gata plays drums with brad hoshaw and he's just kind of a music genius really right. he plays like every instrument and he's amazing at them all and he has a fantastic voice and yeah. very talented guy he's extremely talented mm-hmm. now just talk a little bit about kind of where your songs come from um the lyrics are you know very deep and stuff and Thanks. obviously come from the heart and stuff so um just personal experiences other people's experiences or Mm-hmm. Mostly personal experiences. I think that's kind of been uh, the role that music has played in my life. Like for my whole life, it's just been sort of, okay, this happened to me. How do I deal with this? You know, maybe I can be less confrontational. You know, uh, by writing a song about it mm-hmm. and, and uh, kind of like just sort of sort through my own feelings of, of, about you know an experience in my life, whether it be positive or negative. You know. Yeah. So kind of a personal outlet rather than making up something mm-hmm. out of the blue or, you know, from watching other people. Yeah, I've never been very very good at that. I've never been very pleased with, you know, like my lyrics or the outcome uh, when I've attempted to, to, like, make up a story or to, you know, I suppose writing it about someone else's life. It always ends up being, like, my viewpoint. Because right. that's what I can, uh, that's what I can describe the best, I guess. Mm-hmm. Excellent. We're going to go to another song. This one's called On the Dial. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Thank Just you. from now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, this is Sarah Bank, and this is Midwest Music Meltdown. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's a game, it's a deity, it's freezing your face at the station, is stolen, infatuation is foolish inspiration for me. Explosion, a lack of interest, experience, 
Occupation is amputation for me. Well, you're seeing me, but you don't see me at all. And I believe you, but not for much longer. Well, I've seen enough. You know, I've seen it all. And I don't need to, but I'll wait for you. Oh, oh, oh. It's a weapon I stepped in The point of entry Deadly Habitation is Absentation for me It's me.